annoyed. She didn't want to get butterfly swept, so she's starting to stand up. And then this time, I'm gonna miss Billy completely. So he starts to stand up. He stands up one leg. I'm thinking about the pendulum sweep, but before I get there, he stands up. So now pendulum sweep is gone. Remember, double ankle grab sweep is a good option here, right? We can also think about getting my arm in for the star sweep. Uh, Reggie started to teach the legs coming down around the legs. Uh, he calls it the Leander Low, but Claudia Gracie did it a lot earlier than him, right? But I'm gonna say that Billy keeps standing up straight and I'm losing my clothes guard. So I let my hips fall, right? The last thing I wanna do is Billy to pick me up and then I'm struggling to hold on to him in midair with the clothes guard. It's not gonna do me any good. So if Billy stands up, I'm gonna let him stand up. I let go and my feet immediately go to the hips. Now Billy realizes he made a mistake. He stood up, but he's directly above me, which gives me a nice overhead sweep. Right? Remember, when we do the overhead sweep, it does not have to be a perfect over my head sweep. I just need Billy to go down to the ground. So anywhere in 180 degrees going to my left or my right is gonna put Billy down. I just need to get his feet off the ground. So pull him in with your grips, lift up with your legs and get comfortable right here, right? I can fall asleep like here. Billy and I often fall asleep in this position. <laughs> so once I'm comfortable, I'm just gonna move off to the side, let Billy fall and then take the mountain position. And then let's go for the head and arm choke here. I'm gonna weave my arm through Billy's arms and hug his head with uh, the main goal being this elbow needs to touch the mat. As that elbow touches the mat, pushing the arm across, and I get my ear under Billy's elbow here. And I just give him a hug. Right? When I get here, Billy's in the trap. What I don't want Billy to do, or what I don't want to do, is give him too much space and allow Billy to unwind that elbow. So once he's in the trap, really hug with your head like Billy's your best friend. And then I could definitely use strength and finish from mount, but I'd rather use leverage. So I slide off like a knee cut into side control. Still pushing with my head to manipulate his arm. And then I like to go to my bicep and my head. Some people go to their partner's head. Some people go uh, S grip on their arm. But what I'm looking to do is use my head to push Billy's arm into his neck at the same time, flex with my bicep here, and if I feel I'm not getting that, I'll push with my toes and drive into it. It's a lot better to use my whole body to squeeze this out than just my arms and try to outflex Billy here. All right, so starting the close guard, Billy starts to stand up. He takes away my options. I'm coming down, gripping the sleeves. Two feet on the hips. And when you lift your partner, remember, it could be a perfect overhead or it could just be a little dump to the side, go up to the mouth, weave through. Pass the arm, make sure Billy doesn't get away, and then dismount. Once I'm here, making that grip, and then play with that All right, grab a new partner, an old partner, anything.